This is the book of Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 10. And it says it reads, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. All right. Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai. All right. Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai. Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai. All right. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechakurash. All right. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Rubel. And I want to give a uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lekakim. You know, that's pushing his word and uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in his truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom, you know, uh, I'm your brother Zakari here from GMS Miami Camp. And our Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rechak Wadash, you know, uh, Adawan Rathaza, you know what I mean? He's Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation Israel, you know? And my lessons today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rechak Wadash, you know, it's going to be basically on how the name of the Lord is a strong tower, all right? And the righteous, which is the elect, all right? They're going to call upon that name in these in these evil times and these perilous times, as the scripture says, in the last days, perilous times shall come. All right. They're going to be protected. They're going to be delivered. All right. While everybody else, you know, they're going to be calling upon idols. All right. These different gods that they worship. All right. Calling on the wrong name because the heavenly father, his name is Yahweh and his son's name is Yahweh Shah. Those are the true names All right, that we believe through faith. All right, in the Lashuan Kodas, the Paleo Hebrew, all right, the Holy Tongue, all right, that the Lord revealed to us in these last days. The Lord said He gonna turn into, all right, His people a pure language that we may all call upon Him in one consent. That's the Book of Zephaniah. All right, and no, and there's no, Scripture say. Let's get this real quick. Bear with me. Acts. And there's no other name. All right. Bear with me. It's Acts 3. Acts 4. This book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 12, it says, Bear with me. Acts chapter 4 verse 12 it says Neither is there salvation in any other For there is none other name Under heaven given among men Whereby we must be saved man Alright let's read the NLT It says there is salvation in no one else The Most High Yahweh Has given no other name under heaven By which we must be saved So what there's only one name man Alright and that's who we call upon man Alright that's who we're going to call upon all right, to deliver us to escape these perilous times, man. All right, because nothing you can do, nothing physically you can do is going to deliver you. All right, scripture say the flight shall perish from the swift. This book of Amos. All right, you people trying to get trying to um. You know, try to stack up things, try to. Be carnally try to carnally come upon this devil when when all hell breaks loose because Esau eating a so-called white man. All right, he's gonna come down having great wrath because in the scriptures there's a thing called Jacob's trouble. All right, before the thermonuclear missiles hit. All right, the Lord because the Lord is gonna send thermonuclear missiles. All right, to America, two hundred million nuclear warheads, which is gonna destroy the whole land of America, and the Lord also gonna bring what chariot fire, which which the world ignorantly called UFOs. All right, they're gonna send uh, a, a laser beam, laser fire to this place, concentrated heat. You can read that in the book of Zephaniah, uh, Zechariah, the fifth chapter. All right, the book of Thessalonians said the Lord is coming back with his holy angels in flame and fire, taking vengeance. So the Lord is coming back with fire, with the chariots also, man. All right, so nothing physically you can do. To save yourself, you need the Lord. We need the Lord. And the Lord is only coming back for the Israelites, all right? The elect of Israel, actually. Because the Lord chose the people are the Israelites. 
but the elect of Israel, the Israelites are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? Also, the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nations, that lineage go back to the 12 tribes according to their fathers, right? The Lord is going to have a, our Lord, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh is going to send back his only begotten son, our Savior, Yahweh Shai. And he's going to gather the elect from the four corners of the earth, but the main deliverer is going to be here in Babylon and Greek. So we we got to call upon that name, and nothing physically you can do is going to uh, make you help you escape. You gotta we gotta wait on the Lord. This book of Amos chapter two. All right, that's why the name is a strong tower. No, no, no other name, not yourself. How about your mouth It says Amos chapter two verse fourteen it says therefore, the flight shall perish from the swift, and the strong shall not strengthen his force. Neither shall the mighty deliver himself. So the mighty is not going to be able to deliver himself. The strong, the mighty man not going to be able to deliver himself. All right, the people swift on foot, they're not going to be able to deliver himself. Verse 15, neither shall he stand that handleth the bow, your guns, your ammo, your ammo things like that. Because you got these preppers and things like that. I think, all right. They're going to escape the judgment of the Lord. Or they're going to escape this uh, Jacob's trouble. All right. Because before the news come, it's going to be all hell break loose. You know, Esau, Edom, so-called white man, is going to come down having great wrath because he know he already have but a short time. And what that's what the scriptures call Jacob's trouble. People going to be throwing out their houses. I right, go into these concentration camps. All right, the hour of temptation, which, which the RFID chip, all right, is going to be pushed. And it's going to be made mandatory. And those who don't take it, Hey, right, they're going to get put to death. All right. But the Lord said, my servant shall eat, my servant shall drink. We're not supposed to take that. Even if we, even if we have to be beheaded, as the scripture says. Amos 2 and verse 5. That's why our faith got to be. That's why we got to have more faith. Fully locked in Yahweh by Shema Shah. Because who, who, he's going to keep us. Amos 2 and verse 15 says, neither shall there, neither shall he stand that hand under the bow. I, as King David said, I would not trust in my bow. It says, and he that is swift the foot shall not deliver himself. Neither shall he that rideth the horse deliver himself. So it's, it's giving different scenarios. However you think all right, your might come from and, and things like that. It's not going to be able to deliver you. All right. The Lord. That's why our Lord, his name, our Lord name is Yahweh Shah. All right. Yahweh Shah and Elashua Kodash means he saved or he delivered. He's going to deliver the elect. And the Heavenly Father, his name is Yahweh. Yahweh means he is or he is this. All right. Verse 20, verse 16, Amos 2 and verse 16, it says, And he that he that is courageous among the mighty shall flee away naked in that day, saith the Lord. So what? You got to come back to that strong tower. Yahweh about your mouth shot. Let's read the NLT. Amos 2 and verse 14, it says, Your fastest runners will not get away. The strongest among you will become weak. Even mighty warriors will be unable to deliver themselves, man. So it's nothing. The scriptures tell you. Woe unto you that you want to you that desire the day of the Lord. Alright. In the same book, it's like a man flee from a lion and met a bear. Alright, so you flee from one trouble and then you go to another trouble. He says it um laid his hand upon the on the, on the table, roughly paraphrasing, a serpent bit him. All right, <laughs> so it's gonna be from one trouble to another. All right, that's why you gotta trust in the Lord and be rooted in our Lord Yahweh Yahweh Shah. Well, Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. All right, because we can't go through the Most High unless by our Lord Yahweh Shah. Amos two and verse fourteen. Well, Amos two and verse fifteen. It says the archers will not stand their ground. The swiftest runners won't be fast enough to escape. Even those riding horses won't be able to save themselves. On the day the most courageous of your fighting men will drop their weapons and run for their lives, saith the Lord. She said say the, the mighty men shall cry there bitterly. All right. So imagine you women. She said the women make the women shall uh the virgin shall mourn having no bridegrooms. All right, the virgin shall mourn having no husband. Well, virgin shall ha having no helpers. Second letter 16. The women shall, the bride shall mourn having no bridegroom. 
and their husband's going to die in the wars in the wars all right it's going to get real hectic real vicious real savage life all right would you go into that word a perilous in the last days perilous times shall come in the book of uh second timothy it goes into what let's get that real quick which i always go into this all right this is book of um second timothy chapter three verse one it says this know also that in the last days perilous time shall come perilous goes into what and you and these cops these niggas out here these security guards that think they tough these little bouncer niggas all these motherfuckers they got little handguns and shit man they gonna drop that the description said they gonna drop their weapons they gonna drop all that pride all right and they gonna be scared as hell but the lord said he gonna make a man more precious than fine gold even even a man than a golden wedge of offer the the man of the lord man all right, the prophets that's out there standing boldly for the name, the Lord's going to lift up that standard, man. All right, miracles going to be done. All right, this is time that we're coming into, man. So this is the word perilous. It goes to the word kalipas. Strong's G, 5467. Kalipas. Kalipas. Kalipas, which goes into hard to do. So it's going to be hard. So... Life is going to be hard to do with your, your day to day. It's going to change. Scripture talk about um, hyperinflation. Well, the scriptures talk about a day's uh, a loaf of bread, roughly paraphrasing, it's going to be a, a day's worth of pay, man. All right, in the book of what? Uh, Revelation, I believe, Revelation, the sixth chapter, man. All right. It's going to be, man. The food bread is gonna call you cost you a whole day worth of food, man. All right, it says to take to approach hard to bear. So we coming at times that's hard to bear, troublesome. All right, dangerous, harsh, fierce, savage, man. All right, that's why you gotta have your your mind rooted in your how about you, my shy. All right, our forefather, the prophet Ezra. In the book of Second Edges, he said, Woe is me, woe is me, who shall deliver in those deliver me in those days? Alright, the beginning of sorrows, the beginning of famine, the beginning of wars. Alright. That's the time we come into. These supermarkets gonna be shut. And if they open, alright, we not gonna be able to get into them because we ain't gonna have the RFID chip. So the Lord is gonna still lift up a center. He's gonna feed. The script says second uh 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 well, second edges too, but I'm thinking about uh, Isaiah 65, which they both precept. They both saying the same thing. My servant shall eat. My servant shall drink. My servant shall be rejoicing. And you other people, y'all gonna be famished. Y'all gonna be down out. All right. Y'all gonna be looking for help. Vexation of spirit. And don't come to us for help. All right. That's what um, the book of Kings. The Kings of. Uh, it had to be Kings of Samuel. No, it had to be the book of Kings. When the when Samaria, when uh, I think the Syrians seized. Um, they seized uh, Samaria, the northern kingdom. Roughly paraphrasing. And the woman basically. She, they they made a bet to like um to boil to eat each other's son. Eat, eat. One day, you know, there's two women, they had two sons. There's like one day I'm gonna eat my son, one day we're gonna eat your son. Alright, but the famine was so bad, alright, they said it was like a like different shekels for like a for like a uh 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 a bird's dung, basically like bird shit. So it's okay. So it's got so bad. All right, in, the, in the head of a donkey. All right, it was so expensive. All right, so they ate their children. And, they, and, the, and basically, the point that I'm saying is because what well, they ate one of the sons and the other one, she hid hers. But the, the main thing was she asked the king, and the king said, How can I help you? All right, basically, the Lord brought this 
famine, and that's who's bringing this famine. That's who's bringing this this judgment. You how about Shemal Shah? So you got to call upon a name so he can deliver you from it. All right. He said, "How can I help you?" All right. Let's get that real quick. I gotta go into work right now, but I'm gonna get this account. Um, what he says from the from the threshing floor or something. I can't even see it, this motherfucker, man. Jeez. I can't see shit. Why is this nigga? Ain't got a bright ass light on. Bright ass light. All right, Slacky. He's uh, he says hid her son. Till they bore his son. Yeah. This is the book of Second uh, Kings, chapter 6, and verse. And he's Jay's God. They don't got the spirit on them, man. Why do y'all watch my shot, man? This is Second Kings chapter six, verse twenty-six. It says, "And as the king of Israel was passing by upon the wall, there cried a woman unto him, saying, Help, my lord, O king!' And he said, If the Lord do not help thee, when shall I help thee? Out of the barn floor or out of the wine press?" He said, "If the Lord ain't help you, how the hell I'ma help you?" And that's gonna be our spirit, man. We not help you. We the Lord. If the Lord give us power, give us that uh spiritual powers and work these miracles. All right, we're going to protect who the Lord brings, man. Should say Isaiah 4 and 1 going to happen. All right, we're going to lead. It's going to be believers in the last day, in the last days. But you other wicked motherfuckers, you heathens, we ain't helping your ass, man. We're going to watch y'all ass be destroyed, man. You know, so Lord, what in this lesson was edifying. Lord, what are we part of the elect? And we keep fighting. We keep believing. So Lord, what in this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory. Unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rechakodash. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give all peace, and greetings, and salutations to all the Lekakim. You know, that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, Makim, keep pushing, keep it